Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Dracalia Lost. It's the summertime with my summer, favorite summer event. Um, every event kind of plays the same, but I love the story in this one. It's really fun, and I really like it a whole bunch. And it's also the only story event that has ever given us a YouTube video <laughs> featuring a virtual pop star um, dance concert, which there is a video on the official Dracalia YouTube, I think, of Pop Star Siren. Um, you should check that out. I'm not going to show it because that would get me copyright struck in so fast. But anyway, today's video, I'm just going to be grinding it up, man. Grinding it up, baby. I have not played, I just read the story basically and did enough for some dailies. And that's it. So let's get into it. First thing you'll notice, don't have a lot of wear worm prints for the event. Can't explain it to you. I just don't. <laughs> Thankfully they give some in this event. Back in my day, when they first did this, things were different. Nowadays, I can easily get like 50,000 of any given CE. It's really not that hard. I'll beat the crap out of this tree real quick. Wow, wow. He actually lived way longer than I thought. Nice. As you can see, I have not actually decided to spiral anyone, because usually I do do a video right after a spiral, but because it's light, and also because it was only one person, but he had a point. Where he's like, well, how come you don't show them with their best weapons? Which was, I think, in reference to Halloween Ellie. Which I believe has gone in her mana spiral, which I currently don't, I don't think I'm using. I think I'm using Wukong. I think it's basically because I want to use this team. I'm not really putting much thought into it, to be honest. Um, and he had a point. Like, I really don't. Mainly because... When... Why the hell would you need anything with light at the moment? Until the Agido. And even then, when the Agido shows up, guess what I'm going to be doing? First thing, crafting a light weapon with the Agido, because it's automatically better than any of the High Dragon Trials. Um, any of the High Dragon Trial weapons. So, that's my plan for it anyway. But we'll see how it goes. But yeah, light, light's weird. Light's in a weird place where I don't really feel the need to build it up. And even though I always say the videos are really more about me using the unit and having fun, some people actually want to see them for potential. You're just never going to get that out of me, really. I'll try my best with some units if I know the fights and stuff, but for the most part, I am casual. I'm also bad at Dragalia. I'm surprised at anyone. By the way, now that I'm talking about how bad at Dragalia I am, you should leave a like, comment, and subscribe for what we're doing today. <laughs> It helps the channel a whole bunch. Um, which Dragalia is always, you know, I love Dragalia. I really do. Um, but this is kind of how I want to play Dragalia. There's really no reason for me to be hyper. I feel like if I got super duper into it, um, I just would end up not liking the game as much. I don't know. I don't know if that says something about Dragalia, but it certainly says something about me. I think that's just me in general, though. There's just not a lot of games that I want to spend that much time and effort. Not after Ore Collection died on me. I think it actually is 100% like a mindset of when Ore Collection disappeared, all my like specific training that I went into bettering myself for the game disappeared and it was all for nothing. So I don't really see a point in getting better in specifically a gacha game when these gacha games can die literally at any point. Um, that doesn't mean that for some games that I know for a fact are... Actually, it's a little bit different just because, you know, obviously in Fate Grand Order it's a different story, but um, I would consider myself pretty good. Not the best, though, because there's some people who can do crazy farm. Actually, actually, in Fate Grand Order I would also consider myself okay. I'm much better at the grinding aspects of the game than I am at uh, the challenge quest aspects of the game. Um... But that game I know for sure is going to be 100% okay because the NA version of it has two years before I have to worry about it ever potentially shutting down if it's following the JP timeline. So if that ever happened, then I would just follow the JP timeline and know 100% what everything was going to happen. Let me see, is there another thing after this? I'm going to say yes. I should also look into putting in some of those new worm prints I just got, like Surfer Sibling. Oh, it's not unlocked yet. That's very weird. Oh, I should also check to see. Oh, really? <sighs> That's annoying. I hate this. I hate everything in the world. Let me see. Oh, this is why. I have... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Let me just quickly get rid of these. I was like, what? I thought I had space. Apparently not. I have to use it on all these damn worm fronts. But yeah, like... And I don't fault anyone, because honestly, some of the funnest things I've ever I've experienced in the gotcha is getting better at them. Um, I just think that I'm still healing from my wounds of losing my gotcha, so I'm afraid of getting too deep into something. I love playing stuff casually, though. There's nothing wrong with it. Dep despite what might, some people might tell you, there's nothing wrong with just having some good old casual fun. As long as no one's getting hurt. I should really pause this because you guys don't want to see me do this. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's fight this tree. Uh, anyway, like I was saying. Nothing wrong with getting more into a game. Nothing wrong with it. But yeah, like, I kind of prefer the way Jigalia is kind of doing it now. Where they're kind of saying, like, Hey, here's a bunch of super hard stuff that's only for, I guess, specific people that want to do it. Um, if they're built up for it and crazy, then they can do these... Crazy events, like the astral fight, I guess, I guess, uh, that dragon in the previous event. I tried it. I honestly really did. Really didn't like it at all. Thought it was very stupid that it was basically a, uh... It was the HDT, but you could only go dragon and you <laughs> you just took a lot of damage because your big dumb body constantly got hit. Um, and if my holodrum was more built up and I had a bunch more stats and this stuff, I would have been able to beat it, but I just didn't. I just didn't want to. Especially when, like, beating it gives you such little reward. So I was kind of like, eh, don't, don't really need to do it. So that's kind of what they've seen it as, is that the only reason you do it now is for bra bragging rights. And I'm not really one to brag. I'm not one to boast. I, I enjoy some toast. Yeah, nothing to it. Just listen to Wukong. I don't know, I think it's a very, um, different mindset, you know. And I'm just, you know, I'll gladly play games to the best of my ability, but for certain stuff, I'm just so lazy. I have too much time to try and figure out how to beat VO in Magic the Gathering to also get good at Dragalia. God damn it. Oh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys saw it, but by the way, because no one's listening here at the last minute or so of this video. That video I did for Magic the Gathering Arena is maybe the most frustrated I've ever been at a video game. <laughs> Just because it was so... It's not that uh, it wasn't fun, because I was having fun hanging out with Vio and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, because when I'm angry, I actually can occasionally say funny things. Um, God, it was so frustrating. Just because it was like, clearly her deck was just leagues ahead of mine, and I needed a perfect hand, and... It was just so bad. She just kicked my ass so badly. It was a slaughter, to be honest. Tried my best, but... I don't know, sometimes you fail. Slap the tree down. Are you impressed with this impressive tree skills? Alright, that's it. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Again, it was just me grinding and talking about difficulty stuff, so... Feel free to tell me how you feel about it. I'll gladly listen. Um, do you take uh, competitive Dragalia extremely serious? I need to switch out Grace. I forgot. God damn it. Ah, I forgot. I get a bonus for having only light units. I'm so stupid. Anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. <laughs> Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.